My name is John Lowry, L-O-U-G-H-R-E-Y. I'm known as a Diana superfan and loyal to the crown and God save the king. I met the Queen in 2004 on the 6th of July, it was a Tuesday, and I was wearing a crown, dressed up as a king. She came up to me, looked at me, I thought, oh no, what do I do now? So I got my bouquet of roses like this, and I said, Your Majesty, this one's for you. This one's for William. This one's for Harry. This is one for the Duke of Edinburgh. And the Queen looked at me and said to, said to me, William? Harry? And then this one's for Charles. And she said, Charles? And I didn't know what to do, so I put my head down. And I said, and I said to Her Majesty, did you like the fountain? And she went to that. Well, like that, went. And she gave me a lovely smile like that. And I nodded my head as well. And then she walked away, gently walked away. And that's what happened on that experience, my first experience meeting a monarch, a Majesty of the Queen, which is my favourite. But from a child, I've always liked the royal family. You see my blood. Then I did go to Princess Diane's inquest in 2007. And I slept out for three to four days at the Royal Courts of Justice. And I remember the press said to me, we can see you've got Diane on your forehead. I goes, yes, I'm a Diane then. Oh, we all know that. So they say, we can see that written on your forehead. <laughs> and uh, what I did, I kept all the court tickets. And they're all signed by the witnesses. Because I wanted to raise money for Prince Harry's charity, which I haven't done yet. They're, they're kept in Westminster Abbey. They're looking after them for me. 94 court tickets, and about 75 of them are signed. Mohammed al Fayed said to me when I was outside the courtroom, just outside the courtroom, he said to me, Could you please put my son's name on your, on your face? Jody, on your face. I said, I, w I will do it for your son, because he lost his life too, and, I, and I'm a Christian. This is the King Swan, King Charles III Swan. Ouch! <laughs> I'm terrified. Oh, he loves it, doesn't he? Come on, I'm terrified, I am. <laughs> when the Queen was laying in state in Buckingham Palace, it was pouring down to the heavens. Our tents were soaked, our stuff was soaked, our newspapers were soaked, everything was floating. It was like a river. And we all, I said, we all stood up, I said, listen, we've got to take this, we're doing our duty for Mercy to the Queen. We're doing our duty, and that's what we do. We do our duty. And I, I remember in the early years, they stay overnight my partner, she said, well, I'm going to miss you now, and you're gone. I said, what, leave the light on all night, and I'll ring you when I get to, when I get to Kensington Palace. So there was two phone boxes out there, and around about 12 o'clock, I'd ring her for about 20 minutes, and then I'd stand up all night, in the early years, all night, to 5 o'clock in the morning, to the, to the gates. I did that for about 10 years. There's been a lot of sleep outs. I remember, I remember when I went to one of I think it was due to Junie's wedding, two days later, I'm doing a marathon at the Royal Parks. And then it's me, camping out, sleep, sleeping out all night in a, on a chair, in the cold, and then a day and a half later, I'm running a marathon. I done one last year. I, I run for, in the Royal Parks for, for Great Ormond Street. And my friends Sky and Maria were overtouched by me doing it. At one stage, they didn't think I'd make it. They thought, where's John? He's late. <laughs> well, I did do it. Two hours and something. I can't remember now how I did now. Two hours and something. And uh, I've done, and I did, and then I've run the London Marathon when I was 59. And, and it's just nice running in the parks, the Royal Parks, because they're the beauty of England. You've got all the beautiful trees here. You've got the, the, you've got the, you've got the Italian gardens, which is behind us, magnificent. You've got all the Royal Parks, St. James's Park, Green Park. They're beautiful. Not even in Paris, they've got this. If it wasn't for the Royal Family, we wouldn't have these parks. We'd have office blocks. We wouldn't have no green spaces. People don't understand what the Royal Family, the Royal Family do for us. That's why we appreciate them. And that's why we love them so much. And that's why I'm a royalist and I always will be. And they'll always be in my heart.